Guys, what is happening? You are joining me for another video and today we are gonna talk about how to improve your weaker foot. <coughs> Little science lesson for you now, guys. In general, most people, 90%, use the left hemisphere of their brain more than the right hemisphere and the left hemisphere controls the right side of your body and the right hemisphere of the brain controls the left side of your body. That's why most people write with their right hand and only 10% of people approximately, that's what I've researched, use their left hand. And the same goes for football in terms of using your left foot and your right foot. There's not many videos that actually talk about why we have a weaker foot and a stronger foot. Now, when you start playing football, no one says to you, you have to use your right foot. That's just naturally what happens for 90% of people. But what they're not taught at an early age is that the more you practice your weaker foot, the more advantage you will have going forwards in football. Because every football player, if you want to get to a top level, needs to be able to use their weaker foot. Most players can't use their weaker foot, okay? If the ball comes to them on their, on their left side to, to shoot, they want to cut back in on their right side, for example, because it's their stronger foot. If you want to become a very, very good football player, you need to be able to use both feet, okay? I'm not saying both at the same level, I'm saying you need to be able to use your weaker foot. Muscle memory is to do with when you've repeated an action so many times, performing that action becomes subconscious in your brain, okay? So that's why when we kick the ball with our stronger foot, it's, it seems like it's normal for us because we've done it so many times. When we kick the ball with our weaker foot, it feels different, it feels foreign, it feels very uncomfortable, it feels very unusual. So muscle memory is about constant repetition of an action to make it a habit. Okay, so what we're gonna talk about in this video is doing drills that allow us to use our weaker foot more so that it becomes more of a habit to use it. So that when you approach that ball on your weak foot, in your head, you have confidence to use it. First thing we're gonna to do to work on our weaker foot is what we call juggling or keepy ups. I quickly got into the rhythm of using my weaker foot with my strong foot. Right, left, right, left, from a very young age. The earlier you guys can start to do this, the better. Because all you're doing, we're talking about that muscle memory again, all you're doing is, is controlling that right hemisphere of the brain to use my left foot, yeah, so that it becomes a habit. With my right foot, I mean, that's something I'm very comfortable with because that's something I've practiced before. Yeah, I can go left foot, right foot, but that's because this motion has become a habit. If I wanna just put it on my left foot, as you can see, my brain is not telling me that that's something I can do, okay? So, the more you guys practice using your weaker foot, the better, yeah? So when you go out and practice, don't just go out and try and do all the flicks and tricks to make it look cool in front of your friends with your strong foot. That's not gonna make you a better player. Practice your weaker foot, okay? Set yourself challenges. Say to yourself, can I do 10 keepy ups with just a weak foot in a row, yeah? That's what you've got to do when it comes to keepy ups. I recommend any player does keepy ups every day if they wanna to get to the top level. 10 minutes a day, work on your keepy ups, work on that rhythm, left foot, right foot, but certainly work on just using your weak foot and that will help you improve your touch with your weak foot dramatically. Another thing we can do is work on our aerial control with the weaker foot, okay? So we can do our juggling, we can do our keepy ups, and every now and again, you can just put the ball up in the air a bit higher and just work on using your weaker foot to control it, okay? Now, controlling the ball aerially, again, that's another video entirely. 
but it's all about watching the ball carefully and it's about cushioning the fall of the ball yeah killing it dead not letting the ball bounce off your foot okay that's another video but that's another thing you can do to work on your weaker foot if you're not comfortable doing it from your kick-ups just simply throw the ball up in the air and work on dropping the ball down on the ground with your weaker foot and then you can progress to trying to keep the ball up and do your kick-ups from throwing it in the air so that would be the first step just get the ball down second step keep the ball up third step do it while you're doing the keepy ups okay so as you can see my first touch with my left foot compared to my right foot is not the same because i'm used to using my right foot so much left foot not quite there but you've got to practice that's the whole point key to improving your weaker foot is working on the basics yeah not trying to say to yourself let me go out and practice overhead kicks with my weaker foot that's not realistic okay you're going to use your stronger foot in them in those moments so the key is that you work on the basics more with your weaker foot i can't reiterate that enough okay so work on your first touch work on your on your aerial ball control that we just did with the keepy ups work on your passing work on your shooting okay so now all i'm going to do and you guys you don't need a rebounder you can find a, a brick wall okay or you can pass it with one of your friends all i'm going to do is pass the ball against the rebounder only using my weak foot and i'm just going to get that muscle memory going going to get that repetition going Now, as you could see there, I was having to move around the ball sometimes because I was only using my weaker foot. I had to there because I only was using my left foot. So once you've worked on your weaker foot repetitively, then start to use it with your other foot so that it gets a bit more fluid, yeah? Right, which foot did I miss with? left foot so guys as you can see behind me three different markers for three different distances of pass leading up to the target or the wall or it can be your teammate that's going to stand in a stationary position so as we play the pass from the first nearest target marker shall we say the ball comes back we control it backward step so that you can run onto the ball we play the ball again we control it on the second marker backward step run onto it again play the pass you have to work on the weight of your pass as well so this is not just working on the direction but also the weight of your pass which is important very important and of course the further away you are the more that target becomes harder to hit so you've really got to get your standing foot next to the ball bend your knee open up your foot we do what we call make an L, okay? We make an L with our feet so that we use the inside to really push through the ball, to guide the ball. Something that a lot of people, that are players that I work with like to do is use this rebounder and just play a game of one touch. So normally we play best of three points. If you make a mistake, the other person gets a point. One touch against the rebounder. It can't hit the corners of the rebounder because it can't go off at too far of an angle. Have to hit it flat on the flat surface. But basically wherever the ball goes, you've got one touch to try and make sure that you hit the rebounder. If you're on your own, what you could do, if you've got a rebound or if you've got a wall, <laughs> is get two markers, put them out, and that's the distance that the ball has to come back, okay? 
and that's going to allow you to do it on your own and it's going to allow you to test yourself. So if I know the ball's got to come back and I, I can only pass the ball once it's crossed that line where the orange cones are, that's going to make me have to play at that distance, have to receive the ball a bit faster. Let's see how many I can do. I'll take, I'll take five. Ah, take two, achieve five. Oh, it's killed me, it's killed me on the first one, all over the place. Ah. I was all over the place, the ball was over here, it was over there. And what that's to do with is, is the guidance I get with my left foot. My left foot's half decent, right, I can play the pass, with a good firm pass with my left foot, but it's the guidance, it's that accuracy. So making sure you can pick out that player with your left foot, your weak foot, is only gonna happen through practice, constant practice, okay? And of course, one thing I will say, if you are just kicking the ball against a wall, you need to try and challenge yourself and make sure that you're trying to hit a certain area of that wall. So if you just put your two markers out here and you get another two marker and you put them against the wall, You've got to hit in between those two markers against the wall. Otherwise, you're not really going to practice because if you're just kicking the ball against a really wide wall, like I see a lot of videos on YouTube, they're like, just kick it against the wall, kick it against the wall. Yeah, that's great, but you need to actually challenge yourself to actually hit a certain point, okay? Because that's not going to be realistic of a football field. Yeah, there's not just like a large area that you've got to hit. Sometimes you've got to play out those pinpoint passes, okay? So that would be my advice for that. Next, we're going to look at dribbling when you dribble you really need to be able to use the inside and the outside of your foot okay and generally we use the front part of the foot the front inside and the front outside but i will do a video about dribbling in its entirety another time okay so little touches is what we're looking for little touches on the ball okay with the inside and the outside of the foot you want to keep yourself low to the ground okay so this little drill i've got behind me what we would do is we would go through the orange cones and then we would get into the yellow gate at each end of the orange cone line and then we would turn and we would go back and forth like that so i'm going to show you how we do it with both feet and then after that we're going to use just our weaker foot only okay so let's do it with both feet first Okay, that's both feet. Now we're gonna use just our weaker foot. So if you only got to use your weaker foot, you're gonna to have to use the inside and the outside, because you have to move the ball left and right. If you're only using one foot, it's gotta be the outside and the inside, okay? So next one, we're going to incorporate that dribble in between those orange cones. Then we're going to play it against the rebounder. Or if you're using a wall, play it against the wall. You're going to take a touch with your left foot or your right foot, and then you're going to play a pass. Okay? So I'm going to use a small goal that I'm going to set up before we start. And I'm going to place it on that side because I want to encourage myself to turn that way and then be able to use my left foot because it would obviously be on my left foot behind me. And of course, we only want to use our weaker foot going through those orange cones just to work on that close ball control with our weaker foot.
Okay guys, as you saw there, I did miss one with my weaker foot. You've got to be prepared guys when you're working on your weaker foot to make mistakes, okay? It's not gonna be perfect. So don't be afraid, don't worry about making mistakes when you only are training your weaker foot. Now it's that time that we're gonna look at shooting with our weaker foot. Shooting with our weaker foot feels very unnatural to a lot of players. Many coaches, many videos on YouTube, they say, right, let's do some drills where we use our weak foot. But for me, what you should start with doing is actually working on getting that feel of the ball and how it really works in your mind when shooting with your weaker foot. So all I want you to do is find a goal of anywhere. You could even shoot to your friend, you could shoot against the wall and just get used to striking the ball with your weak foot. Okay, you don't need to have a goalkeeper, you don't need to have cones everywhere. Just get used to that feeling of telling your brain, well, exactly what I do with my strong foot, I'm gonna do it with my weak foot. Because a lot of players that I work with, even though it's the same foot in, in terms of it does the same thing, all right, you stand on it, you kick with it, but when they go to use their weaker foot for a shot, Sometimes even the way they approach the ball, even the way they swing their leg, it, it doesn't look right. That's obviously all coming from your, your mind, yeah? Your mind is not telling you the right things for your muscles in your leg to do. So what you need to do is repetitively work on striking the ball with your weak foot. So just grab a ball or more if you've got them and just work on striking it against the wall, okay? I'm gonna hit it against the rebound to take a touch and then work on just using my left foot. work on getting that feel using the laces getting that follow through just telling your brain that it's exactly the same as what you do with your strong foot only with your weaker foot getting co coordinated with your standing leg because you're not very used to using your the opposite leg to plant next to the ball all these things you just got to work on repeatedly to try and train your brain that you can do it Once you're comfortable with just getting that feel and that repetition of using your weaker foot to shoot the ball, then you might want to start doing some drills involving a goalkeeper, involving some targets. Oof, okay guys, that is me done for that one. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's been quite an interesting one to do because, you know, it's not just about, um, well, let's, let's be honest, it's about everyone's weakness, yeah? And I think a lot of people, they don't like to address their weaknesses, but, you know, really, that is how you're gonna get to the very top is if you work on what your, your weaker things are, okay? And for everyone, we've generally got a weaker foot unless you're incredibly gifted or you've trained from an early age and you can use both feet but the more you work on your weaker foot, the better you're gonna be, okay? So I hope that that video, um, first of all, explains to you why, why we have a weaker foot and a stronger foot. You know, you've gotta understand the psychology behind it. So I hope the video explained that for you, and I hope it shows you a few things you can do um, to help you isolate and work on your weaker foot. Of course, you can think of many things you can do and just use your weaker foot. Um, so yeah, I enjoyed that one guys. And uh, I look forward to the next video. Please subscribe if you haven't, please join the team, okay? This isn't about me, this is about you guys and us all working together as a team to help improve everyone, be better football players. So yeah, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do join the team, get everyone involved, make sure you comment on things that you wanna work on and I'll see you guys next time for another video. Have a teammate stay stationary while you park. I've literally just swallowed a fly. These flies are everywhere today. I think it's this hair gel I put in.